when my wife looks out over the yard, she sees grass that needs to be cut. But I see an alien landscape, teeming with mystery, ready to be explored. So come along with me. Well, if we're going to visit the alien landscape, let's do it in style. So jump on in the passenger seat. Close the door and let's ride. Could this be a giant explosive flower hundreds of feet high on this alien landscape? Yes, you have seen these flowers before on Earth, but not one with the width of the wings of a 747 jumbo jet. On Earth, these are just small weeds, but on this alien landscape, they are hundreds of feet high. What could they be? Who created them? Mysteries upon mysteries. In my imagination, how tall are these giant flowers on this alien landscape? Well, you can park a Corvette underneath them. A classic Corvette at that. We call the giant explosive flowers I showed you earlier. Well, this one's not quite as tall, but it's still pretty high. Plus, it's beginning to rain on this alien landscape, so it's time for me to crank, crank up the classic GTO and get on out of here. Another thing about this alien landscape, which is barely a trick on Earth, is a raging river here. Another thing about this alien landscape, raindrops as large as 20-ton boulders. As you can see, it's raining, so I had to put the top on, but I left the windows down so I still can look cool. I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey through my imagination. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the right-hand corner hit the subscribe button. And also hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And also, if you're watching this on Facebook, tune in on Tuesday and Friday. And also, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, leave a comment, good or bad, because like I said before, the only way as photographers we can get better is get input from everyone. Because I know this sounds like a broken record, but I'm going to continue to say it. No one knows it all when it comes when it comes to photography, and the more we learn about photography, the more we learn we didn't know. And also, don't let the rain or bad weather keep you from getting outside. You might be thinking, well, my camera's not weather sealed. I don't want to ruin it by getting out in the rain. Well, mine is really not weather sealed either. But guess what? A little bit of southern ingenuity, two sandwich bags taped together, and a little bit of duct tape, and for less than $3, I have me a heavy duty rain cover. So don't use that as an excuse. Get out and enjoy. And with that, I will see you Friday.